So the first one is a 48 year old female that with a history of tobacco use, um, she presented to the hospital after taking NSAIDs over the past couple of weeks. Um, this is a patient that actually presented to the ER um, with thickened gastric mucosa. Surgery was involved and underwent emergent surgery for surgical repair. During the post-op course, um, patient initially did well, but started to developing increased pain and their white count began to climb. Uh, the CT scan was done with oral contrast and showed extravasation of oral contrast into the abdomen. So this was actually one of those cases. I was sitting in the OR lounge and I kind of heard the surgeon talking to another surgeon about the case. And so I kind of chimed in and said, you know, I, I, I could maybe help you out and maybe spare you a second surgery. You know, would you mind if I at least take a look with an endoscopy prior to you reopening your existing um, incision? So he was obviously agreeable. Um, and so from then on, we went and did the endoscopy. Now, the pylorus is located at three o'clock just off of your screen. Um, and as we went down into the prepyloric region, you could see there was an obvious defect, uh, what looks like some surgical suture kind of on the nine o'clock side of the defect. And then adjacent to that surgical suture, um, that was where the perforation or the fistula had persisted despite the prior surgical repair. So as an endoscopist, I think that's one of those things that makes us usually typically pretty nervous. Um, in your practice, what would you do with this? Um, would you attempt a standard clip? Would you attempt some type of stenting device? An over the scope clip? Consideration for endosuturing? Or at that point, would you tell your surgeon, hey, this is probably out of my hands. I think it's probably best if you proceed. Okay, so we just launched the poll. And we're about to close it now. Sure. And I'll share the results. So it looks like the majority said over the scope clip with second being hemoclip, third being suturing, fourth surgery, and, and fifth stenting. So this is that exact same patient that you saw the still shot of earlier. The cat, you know, if anybody's ever used these caps for complex polypectomies or variceal bleeds, it does limit your visualization slightly. With this particular cap, you can see the pylorus on the right. And I'm kind of looking at my defect to kind of size it up with the cap. Whenever I use these caps in particular, I like to use the edge of the cap to usually manipulate the most proximal fold. Usually the distal fold will come to you with suction. So you can see I'm using the left edge of that cap to make sure that the left edge of this defect is gonna come in. I'm anticipating that the top and bottom are right in the center there. And whenever you don't have a bleeding lesion like this, what's nice is you can do a couple test suctions like that, just to confirm that the middle of the defect that you're looking for is coming out where you want. So I saw that during that suction and the cat and Let me just wait till we get them. So I'm coming out right now with the scope, took the device off for better visualization. And now I'm gonna come back down into the prepyloric ancillary region. And if you can see right here, you know, your, your ulcer or your perforation is right in the middle of the padlock um, tissue. The padlock is in place. You have to be sometimes be very careful with these to make sure that your pyloric, you know, when you're near the pylorus, these devices could, in theory, grab it. So, if anything, err to the left. Um, but this was a patient that was getting ready to have, you know, her second X lap. Um, after this procedure, her pain went down tremendously. Her white blood cell count improved. Um, she required no further surgeries and went home two days later on a short course of antibiotics. So that was a nice case in that, you know, she had had a complete X lap for the first one and did not have to be reopened or go through her second procedure, um, which she had already had some issues recovering from. 